I'm back after a long break because I played The Long Dark, another awesome survival game, but I felt like coming back here now, get some sun and some beach feelings, and look at that, I built myself a really big raft, bigger than ever before, almost too big for myself because there's really nobody else here. And look at that over there is the other island that I have a lot of resources on but this island is just prettier I thought so I actually keep moving stuff over to this island and we're pretty far away from those two islands that I played on mostly in the previous videos I just had to I was forced to leave those islands to venture off and find more cool things to do more rafts more treasures new islands i was just curious to see what else there is in this world and look at all the resources i acquired i even have tons of bricks because i'm planning to build a house here and we survived 92 days so that's why i kind of thought to make this video because i'm approaching 100 days survival here soon so let's see what we can do with those bricks First of all, we need to build a foundation. We've done this before, but I want to do something much bigger this time, a little nicer, cooler. See what we can do here. All right, let's see. I don't want to put the foundation too high because I don't know if it's gonna be too hard to step up. Uh, this should work. All right, let's build this foundation. And while I'm building this, I just wanted to tell you that I have actually just recovered from a really bad flu. Well, not in real life, in this game. Yes, the developers added the flu in the last update and heat stroke and sunburn, which was quite a bit of a surprise to me because I got really, really sick with the flu and I almost died and I almost didn't recover from it. When you have the flu, you have to eat and drink like crazy and sleep a lot and just keep repeating this and it takes a little while to go away. I finally like recovered from the flu. I wasn't sure if I'm gonna ever recover from the flu because I wasn't able to do anything. I just had to stay put, which was super boring. But here I am all healthy. I just have to make sure I don't stay in the sun too long or I'm gonna have a sunburn or a heat stroke and then I have to deal with that and I don't want to have to deal with that so look at that we got ourselves a little back wall so now I think I need some windows this is a very pretty view right here I can see the other island there far away I don't know if that island if I've been on that island back there probably not and uh, it kind of is easy to get really turned around in this game because there, all there is is like a ton of islands and a huge ocean and all of a sudden you just don't know anymore if you've came from left or right or front or back look at that we have a nice window going on and now should we do another window hmm and we have a draft right that wouldn't be so good when we get the flu but you know it's so pretty here i really don't want to have to stare at a wall i think we're gonna have to just make a window yeah i'm gonna worry about the draft later all right we're almost done here with this window okay i think that's it that's looking pretty good here right so we need a door and i just recently found out that you can actually access doors through the quick menu because they are not available in the regular menu, at least not on the Mac. And I was really frustrated because I was like, I don't want to have a house with a huge open wall, open front. There's no wall, no, no door that just doesn't feel right. And I don't think it's going to stay warm enough if you try to stay away from the flu. So I'm going to put the roof on now. So we have ourselves a really, really perfect house. It's got two windows and the door, and it's all made out of brick, even the roof. I think that's a pretty solid structure here. I feel pretty safe in here, though. 
there is the issue of a draft here, which I can imagine would be so good, but it's just so pretty. We have to have windows. So what else can we do here? Let's see if we can do maybe like a, a porch. Oh, we need four planks. Yeah, we need to go and get some more planks. I'm going to take off now and head over to the other island where I have a lot of resources. The sun is setting, which means I shouldn't have to worry about a sunburn. I try to kind of go between day and night, which is not always so easy. So we're here. Look at that. I got myself a little oven. And so I can make bricks and what else with clay. I have tons of clay here because the other island has so much clay and I found some stuff. I'm gonna actually bring some stuff from here to the other island, which are uh, my houses. I have a lot of duplicates. I really don't need to bring like everything, but I'm trying to look at that. I even have compass and flare gun, so much stuff. I made a lot of bricks last night, but I'm going to leave those here for now and bring all this stuff over there because I'm still trying to build a motor. I'm still hoping to find an engine. I can't really bring anything more right now. So I just have to commute back and forth between the two islands until I have all the resources over on the other, other island and then only leave the resources that I don't need on this island. And those islands are so close to each other that it's really no problem. So I should finally be able to build my porch, or better said, the deck that I was planning on building here. I'm still missing one plank. I should have one over here. Yes, exactly here. It's so good I had all those resources on the other island. So look at that. I can finally build it. I'm so excited. Yay. Well, it doesn't look that great, but... You know, what do you do? Gotta have to have a deck in front of your house. That's just really nice. Or a porch. I mean, it is actually a porch. It's a porch. I could have probably made it out of brick. Mm. I just thought it looks nicer with wood. It looks like a real deck. Uh, yeah. What else could we do? We could actually make some half walls maybe to wind protect this a little bit why not right it doesn't hurt so let's see what this looks like when this is done hmm i didn't know it's coming it has like columns in front that's kind of unexpected it kind of almost needs a roof now well why not a proper porch has a roof right and we try to stay away from the sun, so why not? All I need is a chair so I can actually sit out there and enjoy the view. Oh, yeah, that looks unfinished. We definitely need a roof. Can we make a roof? Do we have enough bricks now? We should be able to. Yep. Let's put a roof on this puppy. I'm getting creative while I'm working on this. I didn't even plan to do this at all, but look at that. This is actually pretty cool. I never made half walls before, so I had no idea about those columns. This looks really cool. Look at that. I got my little house, my little front porch. So now I have basically more room. I could stash those coconuts on the porch instead of in here. All right, I think that's a pretty good plan for now. I don't really need any of those coconuts because I eat fish most of the time. But you never know. I'm gonna go and hold on to those for whatever reason. So last night I built a tanning rack just right next to my house. I can make leather strings now to build picks and axes, which is very good. But now I feel like I want to do something with those four brick packs that are left here. And I think I may just add a little bit more to the front of the house. 
and kind of see if eventually I can build this all out to the water. That would be really, really cool, I think. The only thing that I wished I had more is more vegetation around my house. It looks so naked, but there's nothing I can do. Hmm. I don't know if that looks any good, but it is what it is. I wish I could add a door or something to close off this house better. But there just isn't anything like that. Nope, and I can barely get to the windows as you can see there. So what else could we do? Some kind of furniture, a table, a chair. I don't know. I mean, what would I need a chair or a table for if I can't really sleep, use it to sleep or rest in some way? I have a lot of corrugated scraps, so I'm gonna make a shelving, I think. Let's see, do we have enough? We need two, yeah, we have two. Let's try this, I never made this before. Hmm, yeah, I do not want it in front of the wind though, that would be kind of silly. The wind would just blow stuff right off it. Is this the only place I can make a shelf? Nope. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, look at that. I can, I can actually make it here. This is what I want. Yes, perfect. All right, let's put all the stuff up on the shelf. We're almost done. I'm just gonna see if I can put my letter strings up here too. Like over here, yep. Got a really tidy house now. Everything nice and organized. All right. Doesn't that look awesome? My coconuts, everything cleaned up. All right, sun is setting. Time to head out on the water without getting a sunburn. I decided to actually head over to that tiny island that I saw in the distance so many times right there in front of me. It seems quite far away and I'm gonna take a risk here getting over there, but I actually brought some palm front with me and some lashing. So when I get there, I can build a shelter right away without having to look for resources in the darkness. I've never done this before, but I feel like I'm really organized right now. Right now I'm just enjoying the sunset while I'm riding my little raft over there and look at how quickly it gets dark. I know it'll be pitch dark when I get there. Yep, it's dark. And first thing I wanna find out is if I've been on this island already because I'm so turned around that it could be very likely that I've been on this island before without knowing it. Oh, we have some mineral resources here, that's good. I don't see a shelter here at all, so this is definitely a new island, but boy that island is small. I wonder if it was even worth coming here. Do we even have any awesome things here? We got a stick. Hmm. Oh, we have a koala fruit. That's good because I want to have a garden and we have coconuts here which I need because I don't have any water sources here and I really don't want to build anything for water here it's not worth it this island is way too small once I got all the resources off it I most likely won't come back here so yeah there is really not much here at all but I have to just go to sleep and look in the morning to see if there are any wrecks or anything. That sure would be nice because I'm still looking for a motor and maybe I'll find that on this island or around this island on some kind of wreck. And I can come here for rocks, that's good. And I do have coconuts which is really good because I don't want to have to die of thirst on this island, that would really suck. So let's build this shelter real quick. I should have all the resources for it. I need, oh, I have, I think I need one more stick. 
So let's just chop down this little tree. I wasn't thinking I only brought like one stick. So I have three sticks now. So I should be able to make this shelter real quick. Yep, there you go. I'm so glad I brought the material with me and I don't have to worry about it because all I want to do now is sleep. All right, I survived the night, no problem. It's still early in the morning. It looks really beautiful. Sun is still rising, look at that. There's not much shade on this island though, so I have to be careful. But right now I just wanna see if there's anything I missed last night because it was so dark. Oh, look, there's another stick. I didn't know, I didn't see last night. I mean, Put it all here in case I come back. I'm gonna collect some of the resources so I don't have to look for it next time. And what is this? What is this? Oh, it's just a clay rock. Well, just, that's actually good to have. I'm really glad I know that there's clay on this island. So I definitely have to come back. What else do we have here? Oh, look at that. I see something sticking out back there. So there is definitely a wreck that I need to have to go and look at. Ooh, please no shark. This is quite far out, but I'm kind of too lazy to take my raft out there because until I set the sails properly, I thought it's gonna be faster just swimming there. I just have to take the risk and hope that there are no sharks around while I'm in the water. All right, here it is. It's quite big of a raft, but it's pretty deep down. Ooh. And there's no crate here on the deck. Wow, that's a first. Hmm. Hope there's something on this wreck. I don't see anything, at least not on top of the wreck. I guess I have to dive a lot deeper and I don't know if I can hold my breath long enough. Whoa, oh God, fast, fast, come on, hurry up. Oh my God, where is there a way to get in? Oh, here, ah, uh, I gotta go. I gotta go and get air. Well, that's gonna be hard because there is a, rock kind of blocking the entrance and oh i get stuck i don't want to get stuck that would be sure death okay i can't get in there i don't think so there must be another way all right let's try again i'm not giving up i'm very persistent okay that's the front of the ship i don't think that will work all right still no sharks so that's at least one thing that's good all right there is no way from the front. Has to be the back. I'm gonna have to look at the other side of that rock and see if I can get in there. So I've been on this side, I think. Get some air. I'm gonna have to have full lungs to get down there. All right, can I get in here? Oh God. Yes. Oh my God. Oh, I found something. God, I don't know if I can make it out in time. Oh, 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 I'm stuck. No, oh, make it up. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it. Oh, that probably cost me some health points here. I'm pretty sure. I can't worry about this right now. I just need to get back to the island, look what's in this crate and hope that there's gonna be no shark attacking me in the meantime. I should make it. All right. Oh, wait, this is still a little bit away from the island. But I feel better. Oh, and I just saw another clay rock. There seems to be a lot of clay. Oh, 97 days survived. Yay. Nope. My house is fine, but I should get some water soon. But right now, I just want to see what's in this crate. I'm very curious. I really hope there's going to be a motor in there. I really want a motor. Please don't give me some stuff I don't need. We have some shade here. 
Oh, we have planks. Well, that's good. And we have another torch. I already have a torch, but I'm going to leave one torch on this island so I don't have to bring a torch every time. But it's not really what I was looking for. It's not bad, but it's not the motor I was looking for and I really want. I'm going to put this torch back in this crate if I can do this. Come on, let me do this. Okay, all right. So we have the torch in the crate. So I don't have to search for it when I come back. I see some bubbles over there and I'm pretty sure there's another wreck down there so I'm gonna actually take my raft this time right on top of those bubbles to see if there is a wreck since this is not sticking out I'm not sure if it's gonna be because I went to those bubbles before and it was just like an empty barrel or a broken wreck where nothing was on it so this time I want to make sure I have an easy escape in case a shark comes. Especially if I'm not sure if there is actually a wreck. But it looks like there is one. And it's not that deep either. Well, that's a different looking wreck. But again, nothing on deck. Hmm. Absolutely nothing. Seriously? Wait a minute. There has to be something. Can we go in here? Yay! And we found a crate. And I need to get up. I wish I could look a little longer, but I need to go and get some air. <laughs> Let's see if I can put this up. Oh, this is where it's good to have a big raft. Look at that. I want to see if there's anything else there that we can take. No some barrels and I don't oh we have another crate look at that we got two crates oh I'm so excited <laughs> this was so worth it and I'm so glad I brought my raft because I can just put those crates right here all right we're back at the island can't wait to look to see what's inside those crates And I didn't lose them, they didn't fall in the water, which I'm really lucky because that can happen. I didn't want to bring those crates like this over to the big island in case they would have fallen off. I thought I'd better bring them here, look at them real quick, and only bring stuff that I actually need. All right, let's see. Uh, we're still good, a little low on water, but I'm heading back to my home island soon so I shouldn't have to worry about the water hammer oh my god there's almost identical stuff in those two crates are you kidding me well I can use that corrugated scrap and that axe for sure so that's good I mean it's better than nothing it's not the motor I was looking for all right I'm gonna go back now I think I'm good for now. It's late in the afternoon and I want to get back before it gets dark. I did some fishing and organizing and it's dark now, but I learned that I don't get the flu right away. I can stay up a little bit at night for maybe a couple of hours before I have to worry about the flu. So I'm going to take some advantage and build myself the little garden bed that I was planning. I didn't bring that fruit yet because I was afraid it's gonna go bad until I'm ready to build a bed. But now I'm ready. I need two corrugated scraps and I think I'm gonna build it right here or here. I kinda want it next to my house because my house looks so naked without plants. I feel like it looks so much prettier with a little bit of planting around it. So where is my farming? Here we go. All right. Yes, we can definitely build this. I'm gonna put it here, here. Huh, I wish it was during the day. I kind of regret that I'm trying to do this at night, but why not? Let's just do it right here. Oh, I think that's a pretty good spot, right? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, so now we just need to go and get the fruit so we can plant it and watch it grow. All right, I'm back at this little island here to come and get my fruit and anything else that I feel like I need to do. Do some more research. Look at that. Everything is full bars. Isn't that awesome? I feel like I really learned how to take care of myself, keep myself from getting into trouble. All right. So I brought very little stuff to this island because I wanted to make sure I have a lot of room in my inventory in case I find more things here. Maybe another raft or who knows what. Where's my fruit? My fruit was over here. Here we go. Yes. I'm not going to pick it quite yet. I'm going to pick it right before I head back to the other island. Okay, we have clay rocks here. That's one thing I need to remember. <coughs> I'm just going to see if there's anything else. Uh, maybe I should go back to this raft. Uh this raft is so deep. Look at that, how deep it is. And it's so big, there has to be more stuff in there. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I just have to be careful with my breath because I'm running out of breath pretty fast. But I just want to take one more look in here. I'm not going to give up until I know I have everything. All right, come on, hurry up, hurry up. Okay. Nothing here. Okay, we have some con- oh, okay, there's nothing here. Nope, that's it. There's absolutely nothing else. I looked for everything, so if I could just make it out of here now without dying- Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck! Alright, I got loose. I just have to make it. Oh my gosh, that probably cost me some health. Let's see. Yes, I lost two bars of health. That's okay, though. I should be able to recover those pretty fast. I'm not so worried about it. All right, I think I'm done looking for now. I know that there's nothing more in that wreck and I'm ready to head back home this time with my quava fruit. The sun is setting soon. So I wanna head back before it gets dark as usual with my little fruit. All right, I'm ready to plant my fruit. Yay, look at that. I'm so happy about it. I got myself a little koala plant. Oh, can't wait for that to grow. That's gonna look so pretty. I love diving here. I love going fishing because it's just so pretty. Look at that. I have all those colorful fishies here. They're actually discus fish. Oh, and this guy. Uh-oh, the lionfish. Oh, he is very pretty too, but he stings. He's poisonous and he just poisoned me. I'm stupid. I forgot about that. I thought I could fish this guy without having to worry about getting poisoned by him, but he's still poisoning it even when he's dead. Uh, oh well, live and learn, right? So I actually got two lionfishes. I didn't even know. How did I get two lionfishes? Oh, well. I just thought I want to have some different fish on the menu for once. It gets kind of boring eating the same old sardines over and over. All right, I'm on the water again. Still hoping to find my motor. Still hoping to find some kind of wreck I've missed. And I see some bubbles here. So maybe we're lucky. And look at that! A hundred days! I survived a hundred days! Time to celebrate. But first I want to see if there's anything here. Man, I think I searched that raft already. Oh well, we tried. I need to get some trunks because I ran out of planks and I have a plank station on the other island so I feel kind of bad of chopping trees down on this pretty island where my house is but I kind of do that as far away from my house as possible I don't know if those palm trees regrow probably takes quite a bit of time 
but I do need those trunks. So I got one and I got myself another one and I can use those palm bunches too. Ha! I survived the commute to the other island and here is my plank station. Look at that. I have everything here. I can craft pretty much everything as long as I have the resources. So we just made two planks. No, I don't want to quick, quick craft. I'm just going to see if there's anything else I should bring. I want to leave some stuff here because I don't want to remove everything off this island and then I have to survive on this island and everything is gone. So uh, I could bring bow oh, and arrow. But I already killed the hogs, I killed the snakes, so I don't really need a bow and arrow right now. We have another trunk here. I uh, should be good on planks for now. What else? Anything else we could bring? Oh, look at all that stuff. I could build another raft, really. Literally. We could make something with this clay. We have some clay left. I don't think I need any more bricks. I think at this point I just want planks. What else could we build? We can actually make a water bottle. Oh, I need some lashing for that though. Well, that's not a problem. I have plenty of lashing right here. Here we go. So let's make ourselves this water bottle. Yay, we did it. I'm almost back at my home island again. Perfect timing just before the sun sets. And I got a few more resources from the other island that I can use here pretty good. All right, a new day, beautiful weather, and I'm gonna see if we can build something new here. No, not the quick menu. Right, look at all the lashing I have. A ton of lashing, but you'll see soon why I have so much lashing here. Because I'm going to build myself something new and exciting. Well, I don't know if it's exciting. Something new, which is a loom. So I can craft cloth because I want to make myself a bed roll or a sleeping bag that is because that didn't exist, exist before the update I had a bed before but that bed disappeared on the other island all of a sudden I had a bed roll I didn't bring it with me I don't know if you can bring it I assume you can I mean what would be the point of a sleeping bag versus a bed wouldn't that be great if you actually could bring your bed with you every time and you wouldn't have to build a shelter if you go to a new island you could just sleep anywhere wherever that's kind of my hope i don't know if that's true but we'll find out but i need a lot of cloth for that and i need leather which means i have to go and kill a shark because there's nothing else to kill on those islands but there are always plenty of sharks and that's going to be a bigger mission so for now, I focus on the easier stuff, which is getting more lashing and just getting everything else for that sleeping bag. Look at my quad tree, how big it's got. My house, my room, and my beautiful island. I'm so proud of having been able to restart my life far away from the other islands and basically recollected everything. And I have a bigger raft now Things are a lot better than in my lost life. Or basically it's the same life but last time I did it. I still need a motor. I still need to kill a shark. I still need to build a bedroll. I still need to build add-on to my house. But we'll do that in another video, I think. But so far, I had a lot of fun. I still have a ton of fun with this game. And I highly recommend this game to anyone who likes survival games. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Until next time, happy gaming. Take care. Bye-bye.